Hello everyone, welcome to this course that is History of Microsoft Dynamics 365. This is our last and final module where we will see the major changes that were done in Microsoft Dynamics 365 which is the latest version of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Previous lecture we have seen the major changes done in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2016. Let me now give you a brief introduction about Microsoft Dynamics 365. Microsoft Dynamics 365 was released in the fourth quarter of 2016. It was branded as Microsoft Dynamics 365 and with this version Microsoft has integrated its CRM and ERP product into single business line of application called Microsoft Dynamics 365. So with this release the user interface of web application has been refreshed to improve the usability and visual appeal for the customers. With this many new features and platform improvements were done. So this is how a common look and feel was achieved across the devices for Dynamics 365. So let us now see what is Dynamics 365. We already know that with Dynamics 365, Microsoft has combined its CRM and ERP products. Current version is 9.0 and the main areas of investment in the version 9.0 are UX enhancements to improve the readability and usability of the web application and to make the data entry faster and easier. So they have invested heavily on user interface enhancement and other part they have invested heavily is, is on the extensibility and application platform enhancement, including improvements to security and data management. So with version 9.0, they have done changes to the transport layer security. Now TLS 1.2 protocol is followed and they have also done user interface refresh the key changes were done in from ui side is they have removed unneeded white spaces they have also improved visual hierarchy and they have now utilized standardized fonts in order to achieve more intuitive user experience so let us now see what were the key improvements done in dynamics 365 so now multi-step workflow automation with embedded microsoft flow so now you can create workflows with multiple steps which were which you can embed in microsoft flow microsoft flow is a cloud-based service that makes it practical and simple for business users to build workflows that automate time-consuming business tasks and processes across the applications and services business process flows were enhanced now you can use business process flows as action steps you can now also use business process flows in sitemaps, views, and grids. Business process flows as an entity now supported in interactive experience dashboard. And this was one of the most awaited feature in Dynamics 365 that is multi-select option set. Up until now, you can have option set, but you have to choose only one of them. So there was no provision to select multiple option set. So customizers now can add multi-select fields on the phone forms quick views and quick create forms and read only and editable grids as well web resource dependencies and localizations so now microsoft has done enhancement to their web resources in order to check web resources dependencies and resource localization now it is possible to do command bar theming you can now customize a command bar choose different colors and change color of the text to black or white is power bi enhancements are also done in dynamics 365 you can now embed power bi dashboards and tiles in dynamics 365 online application selected from a group based power bi application workspaces previously dashboards and tiles could only be embedded from mic workspaces they have also done web api improvements the first change they have done is custom action that return entity reference entity or entity collection types are available so now you can return entity reference entity or entity collections from your actions as an output parameter changes to api behaviors are available using the latest version 9.0 version of the service and legacy behaviors remain available in 8.0 version you do not have to change your code when you upgrade new messages are now supported like grant access modify access and retrieve shared principle as Retrieve shared principles and access messages are now available using the web API. They have also made the amount of services metadata smaller by not including annotations by default. 
if you need annotations you can use parameter to have it included they have also done enhancements on interactive service hub interactive service hub is now called customer service hub and is available as unified interface app the customer service hub application uses main form type instead of main interactive experience form type all entities are now enabled for interactive experience in the new customer service hub app and they have also done client api enhancements changes made to the client apis to ensure that they work consistently across the unified interface and web client so now you have to use execution context to work with the form and user interface and you utilize global context and new client apis are also added client apis to support the new timeline control in unified interface and with this version you can override the default open behavior of data rows in an entity bound grid till now if you perform any of the following action in a row in a data row in entity bound grid it opens the record by default if you double click a data row then it will open that particular record if you select a data row and press enter or on a touch enable device by selecting a row so if you perform any of this action on the application then by default it will open that particular record but now you can change this default behavior by doing some tweaks and for programmatic extensions so consider there might be situations where you do not want the entity record to open such as document management records you might want to open a sharepoint site instead of displaying a record you can now override the default behavior to define your own custom behavior as well these are very few improvements that are done that i personally know in microsoft dynamics 365 so let us now see what are the new features that has been added in dynamics 365 so microsoft has addressed the top customers ask in dynamics 365 one of the ask was that on the forms long text labels and values were wrapped so now admins can control the word wrap through the through the system level settings the color of upgrade header can be customized at the form levels advanced find now has option to build a not inquiry for example users can query all the cases that do not have a related task another feature is unified interface frameworks for new applications unified interface framework provides uniform experience for all the new applications that you design for dynamics 365 dynamics 365 channel integration framework using this channel integration framework administrator app you can configure channel providers for your dynamics 365 organization you can configure channels like voice chat sms social media and any other channel that has javascript based widgets and adheres to standards of javascript api exposed by the channel integration framework library new linkedin connector solution is available which supports multiple linkedin member accounts customizable lead matching strategies ability to analyze lead performance across sources they have also introduced dynamics 365 for marketing you can now create graphical email messages and online content to support marketing marketing initiatives you can design interactive customer journeys to nurture leads with personalized experiences you can make surveys results more actionable and share information across the teams you can also analyze and document your marketing returns on investment you can tap into linkedin's business prospects and configure and expand the applications as well you now have ability to filter and search on my apps landing page the my apps landing page enhancements include an improved user interface that has app filtering and app search capabilities responsive design makes the my apps page better suited for small screens you can now interact data from external systems using new virtual entities a virtual entity is a custom entity in dynamics 365 that retrieves data at runtime from an external data source now you had outlook app the new version of dynamics 365 for outlook is built on unified interface framework the apps to keep the functionality from the previous version but adds additional capabilities that come with the unified interface you can view list items from outlook you can also get a detailed record view 
you can also perform relevant search from outlook application now you have dynamics 365 mobile apps with new navigation you can take action on the record and also you iframe and web resources support in dynamics 365 for phones so now you can access web resources and iframes from your dynamics 365 phones and tablet clients and they have also added extensibility and app platform so new capabilities added to the in-app visual tools allow business users to easily tailor apps through a graphical user interface without writing a code so they have added a new app designer so now you can choose an existing solution and or sitemap to quickly create your application you can also choose the client type web or unified interface you can find component easily from app designer canvas if needed enable your app to support mobile offline by selecting one or more mobile offline profiles you can add an optional welcome page from web resource which becomes the first page to load when an app is open they've also added new sitemap designer you can set an interactive dashboard as a default dashboard sub area in the sitemap for apps based on the unified interface you can cut copy and paste sitemap components it has support for miscellaneous security privileges within the app sub areas it also has inline editing support for sitemap components and they have also added a new view designer the intuitive drag and drop experience for adding and rearranging fields you can search fields in the field explorer you can sort columns with a single click in the column header single click access to column single click access to column properties side by side configuration of filters and columns for better configuration experience sample data grids to provide a near runtime snapshot of the view so these are the extensibility and app platforms that are added to dynamics 365 we will see in detail in our upcoming courses and the most awaited feature that is editable grids is now available the editable grid control feature in Dynamics 365 allows inline editing of the records from the entity view or via related records subgrid which could significantly help users to become more productive in their daily tasks and reducing the time clicking and navigating. So this was one of the most interesting and the most awaited feature that was added in Dynamics 365. And on top of that now you have deleting audit log in dynamics 365 earlier users did not have ability to delete audit history records but now microsoft has provided a button to delete the audit history records it is just simple click these were very few new features that were added in dynamics 365 and still lot more is coming and no matter how much of the experience you have there is always something new to learn in this technology because this platform itself is evolving every six months. So, but natural, there is huge shortage of sound technical and functional professionals in Dynamics 365. So, let me now conclude this module. Microsoft Dynamics 365 is a mature product that has proven track record in the market worldwide. It is among the leaders in the magic quadrant. Due to completeness, its rich set of comprehensive features and continuous support from the Microsoft product team. Platform receives a lot of attention and is a breeze to work with this product. So on that note, let me now add a few points as well. So even if you are a fresher or an experienced professional, this platform has something to offer to everybody. And in this course, we have tried to cover all the changes, major features and key improvements that were done right from the starting till today as per my experiences and the resources that I found on the internet. So I hope that you might have learned something new out of this course and I expect you all to revise this course again and again and get familiar with all the features and improvements that were done in Microsoft Dynamics CRM and on that note i will wind up this course as well i hope to see you all in our upcoming courses as well and please do let us know how, what you felt about this course 
and also share your valuable feedback and response and provide reviews as well. See you all in our upcoming courses. Till then, bye and take care.